Alrighty guys, so Jailbreak's newest update finally came out, adding in a new revamped vault bike, destructible everything almost, um, uh, the police HQ which I'm in right now, and some other things. So, l like I say in every video, let's just get started so I can show you guys everything in this awesome update. Okay, so first off guys, we have the new police HQ here. You need a key card to enter, so if you don't have a key card, um, I'll make a video on how to enter the police HQ without a key card. Um, but anyways, to get in normally, you need a key card, or you need to be on the police team, and once you get inside, you'll see that there's tons of cool stuff. Um, the downstairs is pretty empty, but you can see here there's a garage, and you can spawn your vehicles. I'm just gonna spawn a Camaro. And if you were a police or you had a key card, that door would open and you guys can drive out. Um, but if you don't have a key card, this thing won't open, obviously. So, yeah, there's also an ATM here. And there's also a back door where you can go to this Camaro and drive off if you're a criminal. Um, or police. Um, then up here, there's a gun shop. You can grab your guns here. Nothing much to say about it. There's a shooting thing here. I don't know why they put that there. Literally no one uses these things. Um, but anyways, up to the next floor. Um, on this next floor, you have all the normal police things. As you can see, the SWAT and the police. Nothing much to say about that. We have some computers. And we also have the baton here. You can get it here now as well, I think. I think it also spawns over there. Um, but here, there is two helipads. One for the little bird and one for the normal, hel normal helicopter. And if you're a prisoner, you'll need to hijack these, and if you're a cop, you won't need to. But, uh, the mini bird no longer spawns on the top of the bank. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the little bird is no longer here on the top of the bank. It is here at the police HQ, uh, along with the default helicopter. Um, but overall, this police HQ is looking pretty good so far. Um... It's probably the, the best looking building um, in the city other than the robberies. Nothing can beat that. Um, but yeah, it's a really unique building. Stands out here. Perfect spot. And yeah, on to the next thing in this update. Alright, so next up here we have the destructible everything here. As you can see, I'm just going through absolutely everything. You can go through cactuses, trees, um, these thingies here. I don't know what they're called, the uh, power lines, and almost everything. I don't think you could destroy the ramp. No, you can't. But there are lots of things that you can destroy. I haven't even figured out everything. Um, but yeah, the, you can destroy almost everything. Can't destroy these flags for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, you can destroy almost everything. Um, and also, another thing with this is you can no longer destroy things with your character. Um, and also, with that, you can no longer collide with any of these things. Like, the things that you can, like, knock down, you cannot collide with um, when you're out of your vehicle. So, I can hit it, like, I can collide with it in the vehicle, but when I'm out of the vehicle, I cannot collide with it. So, that's a bit weird. I don't understand why it's like that, but eh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, a really cool feature. Um, really helpful for me. You can destroy this big thing, which is very satisfying. As you can see right there, very, very satisfying. And, yeah, very cool feature. On to the next thing. So, next up here, we have the all-new Volt Bike. As you can see, it's completely different. Um, as you can see, it's just awesome. It, it works completely different. No longer flips around while it, it still flips. I wouldn't say it doesn't flip. Like, as you can see, I'm just I'm flipping around still, but... It's way more controllable, as you can see, I am not, um, like, I'm not not able to control it. I can control it quite easily. The only thing they should do with the volt bike is sort of, like, flex, fix the, um, like, flipping over everything part of it. Um, it can't go over these, like, little pit bits of terrain for some reason. Um, hopefully they fix that as well, but overall, really cool volt bike here. Um, brand new model, brand new trail, brand new everything with it. So, if you have the current Volt Bike, you'll be transferred to this one. And if you don't own the Volt Bike, you'll just have to buy this one. Uh, you did not get refunds, sadly. I wish they gave refunds, but they, I think they just didn't want to because lots of people wouldn't buy the new one, I think they thought. I don't know. 
Um, I'm not the developers, but yeah, really cool vault bag. On to the next thing here. Okay, so next up here we have the all new vehicle. I don't know what it's like how you pronounce it, but it spawns here at the military base. Lots of people were struggling with finding this thing, so if you struggle with finding this thing, it spawns here at the military base. It costs 250,000 and it seats or it like has a capacity of seven people, so you can fit seven of your friends in here. Um, really, really cool vehicle. As you can see, the hatch closes when you get in it, so that's really, really cool. Really nice interior as well. Uh, pretty small interior though. Um, I can peek in there quick. Really, really small. Um, but really cool vehicle. I think it's really worth your money if you're looking for like a vehicle that can carry all your friends and that is really good for robbing and stuff. Um, but yeah, this vehicle is just awesome and I would definitely recommend buying it. I'm gonna do a speed test on this thing soon and yeah, on to the next thing. Alright, so here's one of the many small changes here. So, first off, there is player markers now. So, what these are is you can now like track other people on your team. So, let's say this guy was on the other side of the map. I can now find him by going to his player marker, but you cannot see the other team's player marker. So as you can see, this is guy is a criminal and I cannot see his, but if I change to a uh, prisoner here, I will be able to see his. Um, as you can see, there's him right there over at the beach. Um, so this thing is really useful if you want to track someone down in the server. Um, you can also disable it here in the settings if you'd like to. Um, I like to keep them on just so I can find out the other people on the server. Um, but yeah, on to all the other small changes. Alright, so there is 15 new contracts. I'll put them all on the screen here. Um, they have reworked and upped the robbery bounties. There's a new quiet alarm setting, which I don't see here in the settings. So. That's a bit weird, hopefully they fix that. Um, then the army helicopter missiles have been nerfed due to trolls and like spawn killing sort of a thing, like like camping the spawns and like ner killing them with the missiles over and over. Um, then the cargo ships will now appear half as often, but they will reward twice as much. So that means that you can get up to thirteen thousand dollars off of the cargo ship if you get two of your crates so that's very very cool and then they also fixed the dune buggy so that is a very cool th thing in the update here and it also appears um at the tomb escape by the volcano base and they also fixed some contracts. They made it so that there are boards here at the volcano base, so police can no longer enter. Um, but as a criminal, you just grab your car and you can ram right through it, so that's pretty cool. And they also made it so that the train, when it runs over you, it will give you $10 million. Uh, um, uh, I think I got scammed. Yeah, that's about it for this video. Tell me your opinions on this brand new update in the comments down below. Honestly, this update is really, really awesome. And it's just really, really, really good. I like the new Volt Bike. I like everything in this update. The only thing that they need to improve really in this update is the Volt Bike flipping around. Um, but other than that, awesome update. And yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead, smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications. We're trying to get to a thousand. Every sub helps. And let's try to get the 35 likes on this video. If we don't, um, I, I'll do nothing. And yeah, see you guys all in the next video.